What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. Black Myth, Wukong. I had been meaning to do a reaction video about this for about a week. <laughs> I just didn't get around to it. But I'm getting around to it now. Don't worry. It's okay. And I know a little bit about Sun Wukong. Like, for example, Sun Wukong is the inspiration behind Sun Goku. They have the Extending Staff, the Nimbus Cloud, and I think if I remember right, the Extending Staff was called the Nyoibo. Please correct me if I botched that pronunciation, but I think that's how it was pronounced. And yeah, he also, like I said, was the inspiration for the Nimbus Cloud and the Chinese Dragon, which was Shenron. Oh, I get the feeling this is going to be good. I get the feeling this is going to be real good because like I had, <clears throat> you know, went giddy for Ghost of Tsushima because of the the Japanese combat. This is going to have a whole lot of martial arts to it. <laughs> and I can't wait. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. You that art looks amazing. Victorious fighting Buddha. Wow. Isn't he you? Dang I don't know why I used the other arm. I could have just used this one. I don't know. I'm freaking weird. The gameplay footage is recorded directly from a pre-alpha game build. Work in progress does not represent the final look of the game. I mean, it looks great. For starters, it looks great. It has a very Dark Souls-y kind of... Uh, kind of color scheme or tone to it. <clears throat> well, that was an animal. Okay, so all of the enemies are going to be animals. Or all of the denizens are going to be animals or, or some manner of mystical creature. Okay. I can dig it. I just love the fact that we're playing as a bug. Okay. Okay. Woo. Oh. Ugh. Putting them down. Really? I'm going to love doing that. Oh my god, bro! There's just something about the sound of a bow staff being swung. Perfect parry, sit him down. Okay, so the environment can be slightly destroyed. That was a nice way to dodge those moves. Air 
careful. Dodging is key. Or you can just do the perfect parry. Bars. <laughs> so we just took his weapon. Nice. Very nice. Here. What is that big chinned honking dude right there? And notice how he hid. Maybe an enemy like that will just grab at anything. I don't know, maybe he was looking for looking for food and needs a little bit of that protein. Damn, Gollum's been through some shit, hadn't he? Ah, <laughs> Man, skulls just littering the freaking road, man. Ooh, that was a big wolf. That sounded like a big wolfie. Alright, so the gameplay looks really nice. The combat looks really fluid. The ability to bug out, literally. Looks really nice. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. Alrighty, we'll bring the masses and bring your asses. Is this monkey time, baby? <laughs> that was a decent, that was a decent chunk of health taken. So you can get overwhelmed really good in this game. Whoa! Oh, that's right! Wukong could transform! I forget how many transformations he had, though. But he was capable of transforming, wasn't he? And I think I just spit everywhere. <laughs> I hope y'all didn't see that. That was nuts. The, the tide of the battle just turned immediately. Okay, why did you... Okay, see, that's my thing. That's my thing, homie. You smoked out towards the danger. Is he like my guide or something? That's a nice looking wolf. That's a nice looking wolf. Ooh, perfect parry, get him out of here. Ooh, that was a decent amount of health knocked out. So that move requires the utmost timing, I think. Nice, man. Patience is a virtue. Yep, 
That timing is everything for that move. What is he doing? So he can just do a multi-form? Is that what that was? Because that's a bunch of, that's multiple M. Yo, he literally turned into the guy that he fought. That's nuts. All right, the fire does not look like it burns. Nice butt. <laughs> the fire does not look like it burns. It may just have him suffer more fire damage, or it might just be for aesthetic purposes. But that's dope, though, that you can just change the battle in an instant. Oh my gosh, man. Ugh. Ugh. You're not looking so good, Wolfie boy. Oh, that is amazing. Now that's one hell of a way to keep his weapons. That's the same staff. Now, is that Sun Wukong, or is he Sun Wukong? Because it looks like we're going to be playing as him. This is great, man. Okay. Oh my god. That's a Texas size bug right there. What? Get the fuck out of here. There it is. That's the Nimbus Cloud. And, and there's the staff. <laughs> what? Oh my God. That was you. I figured one of those guys was you. Because now he's got that floating fabric. That's so dope, man. Oh my gosh, I am ready. I just had to get that, that music, that score out of there. Oh man, I am so ready. I am so ready. The martial arts is astounding in this game. Bow staff use has interested me because I can't do it. <laughs> I am not coordinated enough to be able to handle that kind of burden. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't. So it's a dream. And just the sound of 
his staff being swung rapidly while he was blocking those arrows. Like, why even use a bow and arrow against you in this game? Like, why? These enemies are just asking for it. <laughs> they are just asking for it. Now, I tell you what, like in Ghost of Tsushima, they will have their use. Because you could be in mid-combo and get snuck by an arrow. So that's okay. And then those giants in the end. I'm going to have to go and do some research on this game because I want to know what those giants were. I want to know what those giants were. Were they some type of, I don't think they were gods because they didn't really have a belief in gods. I don't think they had Buddhism, which was all about, you know, the inner you and your chi and you know, all of that stuff. They had Buddhism. So those might have been just, you know, storm or cloud giants. This is the D&D &D in me talking. Or they could have been titans of some kind. I don't know. If you know, let me know. Because I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. The fact that you can turn into a bug and bug out is interesting. I don't know if, like, the little golem dude was, like, your guide or something like that, but... I mean, he, he bamped towards the danger. That's why I'm assuming that he is your guide somehow. Because if he was just some random dude, he'd have just left. He'd have left. So it seems that all of the enemies are animal-based. But they are loosely based around wolves, I'm thinking. Like, it looked like all of them were uh wolves or foxes or anything like that of some kind so that's going to be interesting too it doesn't look like there's a human in sight in this game oh man i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction i know i enjoyed the video like that was great but let me know what you think down in the comments below leave the video a like and if you haven't already why not consider subscribing for more of this mayhem until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for Mini Moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.